actually so good but it's hot this is hotter than this <laughs> Ooh. let me get some water oh my god ah chairangi chairangi imekwa kwa kwa bottle kwa box <laughs> Hey guys, hey, so this is my outfit of the day, I am representing Trudy Gang, I am forever a Trudy Gang, so I'm representing Trudy Gang with this, and um, this is my outfit. So I'm on my way to China City. There has been China Square, Chinatown, but you haven't seen China City. It's the new China City at Kindaruma Road. Yeah. So this is it, and uh, yeah. Let's get in, let's get in and find out what this China city is all about. Hi. Big a picture up. Eh, na vlog. Eh. Nangia. Let's go around what they have and I need to know what I can get. So after getting in, this is it. Do you have prawn? What? Oh, this one only. Oh. Ini mackerel. Lama which one is this? Longfish.
Do you deliver? I want different. <laughs> I want different meats. So you have beef, goat. About two kgs of each. Uh, so you can deliver that. Um, just after after che, Chelezo, Chelezo. along this road, along the Kindaruma, yeah, we can deliver. That's it for my video. You have seen what China City is all about. What the China City is all about. So I'll just do some little unboxing and then show you guys what I got because definitely I had to get myself something. Yeah, I can't just go to people's shops and start filming and then I, I get out of that place without anything impossible. So, yeah, I'll show you guys. So basically, China City is a mini mall where there are several uh, shops. It's a shopping center kind of thing. If you've been to Chinatown, I know you know what I'm talking about. So it's just basically shops where people come and buy things. There are two supermarkets there where they sell groceries, uh, everyday uh, things that you need, maybe like tissue papers, detergents, toothpaste, um, your, your oil, cooking oil, food stuff, and all that. Basically, a supermarket or a store market, or however you call it. But yes, that's the most that they have there, and then they also have so many fish shops just because you know the chinese love fish they love their seafood so there's so many so many fish shops there but the good thing they've integrated the fish shops with other kind of meat so anyone can come and buy not just someone who wants fish you can buy goat meat you can buy beef you can buy pork there you can buy all kinds of meats they have them all there all the exotic seafoods that you guys know the octopus, the shrimps, the lobsters, they even have, I know you've seen they have those um, like water bats that they store their lobsters uh, there. So yeah, that's basically it. Then the other thing is restaurants. They also have Chinese restaurants also, there. So they, they serve, they serve Chinese food. Yes, they serve Chinese food. I haven't gotten a chance to, to get in any restaurant but i will some some day later but yes they have restaurants so <clears throat> so this is what i got from chinese city from china city not chinese city from china city this is what i got it's not a lot but at least it's something uh there were so many things that were in chinese so i wouldn't be able to know what is what the attendants were were kind enough but also they were getting a hell of it so i just <clears throat> i just got these ones just to come and show you guys and also find out what they are all about they look you can just tell from the packaging what they are but from the wordings it's really difficult for you to tell what exactly they are because they don't even have any english translations but uh google is our friend google is our friend and always our friend we were able to translate these things so we have this one this is basically some fish some cooked fish that has been packed this is genius and it's really good so this is uh 12 grams it was going for about 40 shillings 40 kenyan shillings the same as this this is another flavor so you can differentiate these two from the colors so this is uh, spicy this is barbecue yeah and then you also have this 
from the packaging you can tell it's some kind of steak steak meat so yeah i love meat so that's one thing that made me take this specific one and uh, from the packaging also it looks yummy it looks so yummy so i was like let me try let me see what this is all about so this also has a variation there's a black one and then there's a red one we are yet to find out what the differences between these two are then the next thing that they got was this so they have this whole aisle of drinks it's like a supermarket basically so you have different aisles with different kind of items so i got this from the drink section to me it looked like some lucozid <laughs> That's why I took it, because I couldn't even understand what exactly it was, but it looked like glucosid, so I was able to take it. But apparently, Google told me it's herbal tea. This is herbal tea, so I'm yet to find out how it tastes. I hope it's good. I really hope it's good. Then, uh, the last one is noodles. You can't, you cannot go to any Chinese place and miss noodles they're known for the noodles so I obviously had to take uh, some of this and uh, yes I'm just going to prepare this and show you somewhere either on my Instagram on my TikTok, or just here on YouTube you are yet to find out where but I'll prepare this and tell you guys how it tastes I love noodles so I really hope uh, they are nice so it's th at least these guys have an English uh, wording somewhere here so it's hot beef noodles hot beef noodles I wish I took the chicken one but anyway uh, I couldn't know <laughs> I'm just seeing this one now so and I think they have they come with all this or we have to find out we'll open and see what it's all about how it tastes and then yeah so this is what i was able to get and yeah let me open let me open and uh, show you guys how everything looks like smells like canned beef some say it's corned beef but it's in a can so it's canned beef smells like it this is how it looks this is how it looks so let me taste Ooh. Ooh. this is it this is how it looks it's like in some oily kind of thing let's see i'm already salivating just because it's beef i hope it's real beef okay mm. 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 <laughs> it's well seasoned tastes like soy soya beans what is it? soya soya chunks like something between soya chunks and real meat something between in the mm, but it's yummy i love the taste for 40 bob a piece of meat mm. oh it's actually so good it's so tasty it's so tasty so let's open the red one mm. seems like this was some barbecue flavor kind of thing and this is tomato i'm getting some tomato -ish seasoning on this but it also has some oily 
parts in it. I think the oil is to preserve. And then let's give it a taste. So we'll just cut that into half. As you can see. Mm. It's chewy. It's like rubber, but <laughs> you know, rubbery mm, feeling on your mouth. In your mouth. Mm. So this one is more spicy, like hot. It's it has some chili. I guess that's why there's all this red uh, labeling here. This other one. The barbecue one doesn't have any chili but the red one has some chili but they are good mm. it reminds me of nyama bites if you've tasted nyama bites it's giving you such a taste mm. so i could confirm these are beef these are sure beef. This is not pork. This is not uh, fish. It's beef. Ah, oh. it's hot. <laughs> it's really hot. So let's open these ones. This is fish. Ooh. Ooh. Looks yummy. It looks yummy. Same fish in some seasoned oil. Just look at that. It's like omena. <laughs> some sardines. It's like sardine in some seasoned oil, then packed. Mmm. Exactly what I thought. Mmm. Mm. It's sudden and seasoned oil. So let's find out what the difference between the yellow one and the orange one is. Hmm. Look at that. It's hot. <laughs> it has chili. Ooh. So here are the sardines in some seasoned oil. Mm. It's actually so good, but it's hot. This is hotter than this. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Ooh. <sighs> Let me get some water. Oh my god. Ah. Ay, yeah, yeah. The water. whoa that was hot but it's so good it's so yummy i love it this is something you can just buy maybe you haven't been able to cook you can just buy a few of this and make something from these so let me know on the comment section would you want a recipe or a meal that i make out of these things would you be interested in that what exactly would you want to see me make from the Chinese uh, food collection? You know, from the radishes, the, the mushrooms, these fish, 
kind of kind of things uh, the beef tell me tell me tell me what would you want to see me making from the chinese uh, items then uh, those are the meats they were so delicious they are so perfectly seasoned i love the i love everything about them just that they're hot if you love chili this is the thing for you so the next thing is this this drink uh this is some herbal tea so let's try it let's try it out of course it has a straw just like all the drinks should and then huh So I will just do that. Chairangi, chairangi imekwa kwa bottle kwa box. <laughs> anyway, this is just normal tea, like your normal black tea. Ha. Huh. This is genius. It goes for 40 shillings. So, if you ever have or need an idea to start a business, try making your tea and then packaging it like this. It will sell. So, it's actually just normal tea. Yeah. Nothing special about it. I actually thought it was glucose, some energy drink or something, but it's actually just tea. So yes, that's it for our China City Hall. This is what we got. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Leave your comments on the comment section below. Tell us. What do you want us to try next when you go to China City? What should you pick and cook? Tell us on the comment section. Give us those suggestions. And like this video if you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Akini tamu lakini nikali. Fika. Fika.